In this video, we're going to go over how to get started with Azure DevOps. As a prerequisite, you're going to have to create an Azure Cloud account if you don't already have one. I'll provide a link to in the description on how to get started with that. But once you're logged in, you're going to go to the search and you're going to type in Azure DevOps. Click on the Azure DevOps icon. And then you're going to click on my Azure DevOps organizations. Click create new organization. Click continue. And you're going to give this a name. Okay. And it has to be a unique name. So don't use the one that I have here because it'll give you an error. Click continue. Okay, so now that you have an organization, you need to create a project. And a project is like a container that has all your work in it. It has the repos, it has the pipelines and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create my first project. And you can select whether or not you want it to be public or private. I'm gonna keep mine private. So click, click create project. All right, now that we've created our new project, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's several blades, overview, boards, repos, pipelines, test plans, artifacts. In this video, we're just gonna create a simple pipeline, but as a prerequisite, you need to have some kind of Git repo. So go ahead and click on repos. And we're gonna create an empty repo. So at the bottom here, where it says, initialize with a readme or git ignore click on initialize okay so now we now have a git repo in here go to the pipelines blade click on that and then we're going to create our first pipeline and now it's asking you where our code repo is so we're going to click on azure De azure repos git and we'll see our repo in there Click on that. Since we don't have a pipeline yet, we're gonna click on starter pipeline. And this, this will create a new sample pipeline for us. And before we save this and run, let's just quickly go over this. So in Azure DevOps, pipelines are created in using YAML. Um, so if we took take a look at the different components here, by this in this demo here, we'll see that, or this uh, pre-created uh, sample one, you'll see that it's set to trigger on master uh, when you merge to the master branch, and it's gonna use a VM image Ubuntu latest, so whatever the latest LTS is. As of now, it's 18.04, and then it has several steps. Uh, so this this part this section indicates that. Uh, we have several tasks that we're going to run. So in here, here's the first task. It's a script. So it's a simple hello world, uh, echo hello world, uh, which will, it will run in a, it'll generate a shell script and it'll run it. So we'll expect to see hello world on the output. And then it gives it a display name of run a one line script. We'll see that on the pipeline as well. And then the next task is, or the next script is, it's a multi-line script. How do we know? It has this vertical uh, line, which tells the YAML that all these lines belong to this section. Okay, so we have two echoes. So we should see this as well. And it gives it the dis display name, run a multi-line script. Okay, so let's go ahead and click save and run. And when you do that, you're actually committing this YAML file to the repo. And it tells you right here, uh, it, it gives it the automatic uh, commit message, set up CI with Azure Pipelines. And it also is telling you that it's going to connect directly to the master branch. Just go ahead and click Save and Run. And it'll actually run. If you click on the job, you can actually see the log output. And you want to do this because you want to see what it's actually generating. 
Okay, now it's done. So we can go back over here. You'll see that it says initialize job. So this kicks off the, the pipeline job. It checks out the code from the repo that we created. And here's that first script, run a one line script. And here's the hello world that we were expecting. So now if we click on the next one, it says run a multi-line script and we should expe expect to see two lines. Add other tasks to build, blah, 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 see this link. So those were the two things that we saw in the script, in the scripts for that, uh, that YAML section. All right, uh, you alternatively, alternatively, you can actually click on view raw log. Um, all right, but let's go back to our pipeline over here. Click on test one. And when you go there, th this, as you start running your pipelines over and over again, this will start filling up with a list of all the pipeline runs. But let's go ahead and edit this pipeline and let's make a change. So I'm going to go to this first script and I'm going to say, I'm going to change it. And then this multi-line script, I'm going to do something like a directory listing just cause. I'm going to say PWD so it can give me a listing of the current directory. And then the second line, it'll give me a list of all the contents in the workspace that it's running on. So I'm going to click on save. And again, it gives you another commit message. It's automatically populated, but this time I'm going to put in my own. Can't spell. Okay, and I'm gonna commit this directly to master branch. Click on save. Now it's actually committed to the master branch, but let's go ahead and run this. Notice that now it's telling you that, you know, it's giving you the option of what branch to run. We only have one branch, so that's fine. As well as, you know, are there any variables defined for this? Uh, any stages, resources, nothing is defined. So we're just gonna click on run. Let's go back over here to the job. So click on it so that we can see the output. Okay, let's go back to our first script and you can see that it ran the script. It says, this is Skunk Labs. Let's go to the multi-line script and it did the PWD. So this is a workspace. Actually, it's the source code workspace. And then it gives you, gives us the LS LA, right? So we should see that Azure Pipeline's YAML file, the README file that we checked, that we initialized the repo with. All right, so now if we go back over here, actually to test one over here, now we can see that we have multiple runs. So at this point, you can continue iterating. Um, I'm not going to cover, you know, multi, uh, you know, branching strategy or anything like that in this video. So I just wanted to show you how to quickly create a pipeline, get started. Um, but let's, let's actually look at one more thing. Let's go back to the repo section and we're going to see our Azure pipelines YAML file that we created earlier through the pipeline. And here it is. So you can actually edit it here and make a change and it will trigger the pipeline, right? Because we, it has a trigger of master. So let's make another change. Um, just a simple change. Actually, I'm curious to see what it shows, does if I CD into the root and list everything. Let's go ahead and commit this change. Made yet another change. Again, we're just going to 
commit directly to master branch. And that's okay, because this is just a test. Okay, so it seems like nothing happened, right? We just made a change in the pipeline YAML file here. But if we go back to pipelines over here, we can see it's already triggered a build. So let's go in there. It's already done, actually. Let's click on the first, on the top one. Click on the job so we can see the log. And again, here's my change, right? I added some exclamation points. And then the multi-branch, here's the root directory. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope uh, you got something from this. Thank you.